the hell is going on right now. I actually had like this little series going on. I haven't done this series in forever. If you guys know me on a personal level, you guys know that I say no puedo a lot, which means I can. And fuego is just pretty much like fire. Like it's a fire bomb product. So for today's video, we are gonna be testing out makeup from Forever 21. I was at Forever 21 the other day. I was just shopping, doing my thing, and I have seen videos like this already. The other day, I was actually there and I was like, you know what, this is gonna be the day. This is gonna be the day that I buy a full face of Forever 21 makeup. So if you guys wanna see if makeup from Forever 21 is fuego or a no puedo, then just keep on watching. I got a lot of brushes for sure because I was like, I need a lot of brushes so I could do like the full face situation. I got some some lashes, a palette, like just a bunch of things I will show you obviously while I'm doing the makeup, all the products I got. You know what is so funny? This packaging actually reminds me a lot of KKW. I know there's certain things that do come packaged like this. This is something Kim Kardashian would come out with. Also, I wanna mention that I didn't buy like every single product I saw there. I went in trying to just buy products that I would just need for today. So I bought one eyeshadow palette, one blush, one lipstick, one lip gloss, one, you know, of everything. I wasn't gonna go in there and buy like five different eyeshadow palettes because I know I'm not gonna use five different eyeshadow palettes. But hopefully there's a lot of products in here that I love. I wanna mention that Forever 21 does also carry other brands like Wet n Wild. What else did I see? I don't know exactly the brands that they carried, but everything that I'm showing you guys in this video is specifically like the Forever 21 makeup brand. Okay, so the first thing we have here is this Skin Perfecting Primer. When I saw this, I immediately thought it was foundation just because you look at it and it kind of does look like that. As soon as I opened the bag, like the primer has such a scent. Yeah, it's really strong. Oh, I'm probably gonna shake this up because the liquid was like about to come out. Primer is usually very like silicone-y or creamy. So that's really weird. Yeah, that is, do you see the liquid separating? I mean, it feels really smooth once everything's blended, but that was something else. I've never felt a foundation. I'm shaking this so hard. Okay, there you go. That's a lot better. That's a primer right there. All right, let's get this hair out the way. Oh my God, you guys, can we talk about my white hairs? Who is she? So we're just gonna dot this on the face. I feel like I got a lot. This has like a scent for sure. It's like a perfume scent. I don't mind it. It's a really nice smell. But if you're someone that just does not like strong things, it might give you a headache. I almost feel like this is brightening my skin but I applied so much. I really see how it's um, smoothening my face. It almost mattified it. So it is really smooth. It's so smooth where I'm like afraid it might make my face oily. I have actually been really addicted to the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. It smoothens my face. Like I like to apply that all over the face. And I almost feel like this is kind of like the same feeling. Foundation and concealer is on. They had a corrector, but it was kind of like the green, the purple. It wasn't like an actual concealer. This is why I didn't title this full face because I know I would get dragged. Like, I know this is not a full face. Okay, so now I'm going to, let's see. Please tell me there's a face powder. What? Oh, yes, yes, yes. So I picked up this contour and highlighting palette. It's just called the contour palette, but clearly there's also highlighting shades in here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think the first four are creams and these are powders. Wow. Do y'all know what I'm thinking? So I'm gonna use these to highlight my face. I already applied concealer, but that's fine. I'm going to finally use some brushes. I'm gonna take this set. I think these are so freaking cute. I'm thinking we're gonna use this one for the concealer. Ooh. All right, so let's use these because I feel like this one's gonna be a little too pale, so I'm gonna mix these together. Okay, let's pop this underneath. So this already is kind of separating in a really weird way, so it's definitely not full coverage at all. It feels really greasy. Kind of reminds me of like the Party City makeup. It's very creamy, very glossy. I feel like I'm gonna really regret this. Look, do you see that? Like how easily it separates? Maybe I could use this flat like kabuki right here. Again, the packaging is really cute. It has like this hollowness in it. It kind of reminds me of a unicorn, but we're gonna just see if we could blend out this concealer we have going on. Hmm, okay. That's doing the job. I wanna dab more than 
rub because you can see they already look very delicate. Okay, so that's blending out actually really nice. So this concealer, or not concealer, highlighter does blend out quite quickly. Now I'm gonna go in with the other set and use this brush. It's kind of like a small angled and I wanna use this to set my under eyes. And I wanna go in with this powder now. And that kind of looks like it would definitely help set the face. All right, moment of truth. I think it's setting it. The powder has some kind of glitter in it. I see something that's like sparkling. I'm more concerned about the glitter itself. I think the powder is actually doing the job. I just feel like this is gonna make my face look a little bit more dewy. I want to cream contour, so I'm gonna take this shade right here. Let's use this small like angled brush. It's really warm. All right, I'm going to use this other brush. It's kind of like a round kabuki. And I'm just gonna go in circular motions and blend out this cream product. Ooh, yes. This is blending out really nicely. Like very quickly. It makes it so much more easier to actually blend out the contour. Like it doesn't look harsh at all. I'm looking at these two. This one's very dark. This one's really warm. I'm gonna grab a little bit of the dark just to contour. Like the smallest amount. Let's try to contour the nose. I'm gonna mix these together. I'm going to use a small brush and I'm just gonna snatch that nose like never before and hopefully it doesn't look too intense. All right, so now I'm going to warm up the face and honestly, I do not think I wanna just use this one because it's so warm. So what I'm gonna do is just kinda go in between and we're just gonna go a little above and start warming it up. See, that's already warming it up and it already looks super warm. So just imagine if I use the warm one on its own, I would look hella orange. I'm just using this big flat kabuki just to help everything blend out really nicely. I'm gonna finish setting the rest of my face. I do not have like an actual face setting powder. So I'm just gonna go in with my regular powder, kind of clean up around the contour and stuff. I think so far it's not looking bad. I think we're looking a little bit more put together. Time for blush. So I got this ombre blush and I was trying to look for different colors because I almost felt like this one was way too pink. But I mean, it's ombre, something different. Okay, this is so cute. These together are like meant to be. <sighs> okay, I'm going to lightly tap this because it's coming off really pigmented. Even if you grab the smallest amount of product, like this is there. Like, this is strong, honey. I'm living for these brushes. I will use these brushes again. They're so cute too. Like, all these different little colors they have. Now time for my favorite part, highlighters. I don't like the whole opening concept. Like, I feel like I struggle with this. So this is the highlighter. Let's go ahead and swatch it. Ooh, okay. I like that I use picked up a lot of different brushes because I feel like I'm getting a use out of every single one. These remind me of like the Little Mermaid. So moment of truth, honey. I'm so excited for this. It's very powdery. Oh. Wow, very intense, like super intense. It's so intense, you like really have to be careful. Wow, it's just worth your money for sure though. Do you guys see how blinding this is? Oh my god. I think this is a highlighter that I would for sure use again. Like, look how intense that is. It's a little too intense. It's almost like Ofra, Ofra's highlighters. Now that I'm at it, I'm just going to take this in the inner corner. I think I'm in love. I don't even think there's a name for this. It just says Illuminator, but if you can get your hands on this, it's actually really good. Like, my cheek is so blinding right now. I picked up this eyeshadow palette, and I'm trying to figure out if it has a name. Palette de Ombres. I don't know if it, that's the name or what, but this is how it looks. And they had obviously different eyeshadow palettes there, but I was like, I'm gonna pick something up that I think I would definitely use. So, I mean, look at it. This is something I would totally use. Neutrals and stuff. The palette comes with one brush. Maybe I could actually use the brush. 
So the packaging is very cheap. It's almost like it's just literally taped on. It's like that kind of plastic they use for Halloween makeup. Let's go ahead and get started. I am thinking we're gonna start off with maybe this color. It's like a light brown. The closest thing you could remind me is like LA color eyeshadows. Like I remember for, whoa, that's really dusty. Like in middle school when I would like wanna buy makeup, I would go to the dollar store and they would have like the LA color palettes. That's the best way that I could describe the smell. She's pigmented all right. This brush is kind of frustrating me. I feel like it's scratching my eyelid of how stiff it is. Kind of want to switch. So I'm taking this brush. It looks like a little bit more fluffy. Even though it was like super powdery on the palette, it's not like giving me a lot of fallout. Wow. It did bone out really good. So we're just gonna work our way up. Now I wanna take this color. It's a little darker. I'm thinking of doing kind of like a smoky eye. Kind of like what I would honestly do for like a dramatic look. Let's warm it up a little more. I'll take this color. And I'm kind of just using the same brush because this is kind of like the only one that's kind of fluffy that I could use. So I'm going to just keep this in the crease just to give it that warmth that I love. I'm very impressed with the shadows though. Like for me using this brush, it's blending out really good. It's not like patchy or anything. I am noticing this side is getting just a little patchy. Like I don't know if you guys see that little difference we have going on. I'm gonna make this look a little bit more dramatic. So I'm going in with this color right here. It's kind of like a dark brown. So I'm going to pop this color, mainly focusing it like on the outer corner, like just really on the crease, just to make the look a little bit more intense. I might actually go in with a darker color. If not, I'll see you know how it's like building up. But I just, I'm really going for that just dramatic, smoky eye. I'm going to bring this in a little bit right about there but just mainly focusing it on the crease we're just like trying to really intensify for all the eyeshadows that i'm using though it's blending out really nicely together i feel like when you start applying so many colors together like it'll start getting really patchy the colors are not layering right but it's uh going well so far maybe by going in with a dark color i could kind of fix that little patchiness that was going on. But like I said, the only thing that I'm kind of like bugged about is the whole blending. Like I feel like I need an actual big fluffy brush to get the edges right because I'm using only one brush for like every single shadow. So I'm going to go back in with this difficult brush and I'm going in with this really light color. It's like super, super light. I feel like depending on your skin tone, you could probably use it like as a skin color. That was a lot. Oh my God, what did I just do? I just ruined it. I'm trying to like just go in. So I'm going back in to just apply more. Oh my God, that was so bad. Okay, that looks a little better, but I just feel like I'm struggling with this eye. Like it's still a little patchy. I'm gonna take this flat brush and I'm going in with this like no, let's do this color. It's looking a little patchy on my eyelid. I feel like the powder is so powdery that when I pack it on, it's almost separating. So I'm going back in with that like brush that I use for the crease and I'm just gonna go like on the edges just so it won't be so like intense out here. I definitely do want the top to look like. I already applied eyeliner on my waterline. What I'm gonna do is just pretty much smoke out the lower lash line, kind of using like the similar colors. I wouldn't really so recommend the eye brushes because they're just a little more dense. Now that I have the lower lash line done, I got my mascara on, I'm gonna apply some false lashes. These are five pairs. I don't know how I feel about them. They look nice by looking at them like this, but I feel like these are gonna be the plasticky lashes that are like super uncomfortable on the eyes. I went ahead and stacked two pairs and I feel like it's going to be a little stiff just because even on its own, it's like very flat. It's not like round how it's supposed to be. I feel like these lashes are the type where like no matter how many times you stack them up, they're not gonna look super full and long. I feel like they make my eye look a little bit more droopy than it is. I'm going to apply on this side like my go-to lashes because I feel like lashes could really mess up a look or a look. I just have to show you guys the difference because it is major. Like this one makes my eyes lift. They're more dramatic and this, 
these are just so down. I'm definitely gonna take this off because honey. All right, so lashes are finally on. As you can see, the look actually looks really nice. I feel like if I would have just kept these Forever 21 lashes, like they would have looked a mess. So now I'm gonna move on to brows. Unfortunately, they had no brow products, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do my brows really quick and we will do the lips. So now moving on to the lips, I'm taking this lipstick and it's just a hydrating lipstick. Like it doesn't have a name. I'm thinking it's gonna be like a creamy formula and I've noticed just a lot of things from Forever 21 do not have names. And I'm also gonna be using this matte powder liquid lip gloss, which does not make any sense to me. So I'm gonna start off with the lipstick first and then the lip gloss. Whoa. Okay, this is more creamy than I thought. Like, super creamy. It's like sliding on my lips. It's a lot more pink too than it's looking. I like the packaging of this lip gloss though. It's really nice. I like the metallic-iness going on. It's like as liquidy as a liquid lipstick, but it's supposed to be a lip gloss. I just don't get the whole matteness of it. Like, what do they mean by that? Because it is mattifying it. But it doesn't look bad at all. Maybe it's like a mattifying cream lipstick like the more i do this the more it mattifies see like though i think the whole purpose of this video was just to kind of like try out the products i didn't want to really like bash them like obviously if i didn't like something i would tell you guys but i feel like overall like this is something that worked better for me because for the most part like if i would have tried on the lashes like kept on the lashes i would have not liked the look at all look at my face right now i feel like i look pretty normal so I do like a lot of the products. I definitely have gotten a little bit oily because I was like taking a really long break between the filming. Y'all don't know that, but like my camera did die. One thing that I really did like was the eyeshadow palette. I feel like the face brushes were really, really good. The only thing that I did not like were probably like the eye brushes just because like a lot of them were flat. I don't remember exactly how much was each product, but I have gone shopping for clothing plus the makeup plus the brushes and it only came up to like a hundred something. So the makeup is definitely not like super pricey. One of my favorite products out of everything actually was the highlighter. It really did impress me. Like my highlighter right now is really, really blinding. For the contouring palette, I like the way that the cream contour products work. For it being Forever 21 makeup, I think it's all right. Is it fuego or no puedo? I would say the makeup is fuego of how it looks right now. There was a few things that were like, no puedo. I expect expected it to be worse. If we were comparing this to like high-end brands, it would definitely be a no puedo, like for sure, 100%. It's Forever 21, you can't expect it to be top-notch either. For it looking the way it does right now, it's fuego. I hope that makes a lot of sense for you guys. So yeah, you guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys wanna see more fuego or no puedo videos, let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I swear to you, something's wrong with YouTube. Like. <laughs> my videos will sometimes like fluctuate and I just don't even know if people 